Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're previewing the Chelsea versus Brentford game. We are at home for this one and it is of course a big fixture coming off of that game against Arsenal in which we drew to all in the end. It really, really should have been a win barring some mistakes from the goalkeeper and we won't get into that too much but coming off of that game you really would expect us to go into this one with a lot of confidence because we played well you know the manager seemed very happy with the performance minus the last 15 minutes or so in which things sort of went um you know the game went away from us but we saw some key key goals in that one we had cole palmer getting a goal continuing his good bit of form and his confidence of course building up even higher and we had Mudrick getting a goal as well against Arsenal the club that gives him so much grief from that fan base so it's very very nice to see him getting a goal at Stamford Bridge giving him a bit of confidence and because of that I think he's a player that will be very very key in this game I think once Mudrick starts hitting confidence he's the kind of player that that will elevate his game so I'm really excited to see he's in a decent bit of form at the moment let's see what he can do now that the team is starting to find a bit of good form so let's switch over and take a look at the sofa score page for this one and yet again now this is two weeks in a row that myself and you know the sofa score predicted lineup is identical i think there may be a case for a slight change but i think i would pretty much be going with what we did in the last game so you'd have robert sanchez in goal even though he made that mistake that sort of threw the game right away kukurea was brilliant in that last game so i think he starts alongside levi colwell and tiago silva and then malo gusto i'm more than happy for him to start depending on how reese james's fitness is of course we've had some of the updates um from the Chelsea uh, news website that comes through and sort of gives you the injury situation for all the players and Reese James not mentioned on there of course he got a slight cameo um, in the previous game so I think he's going to be fine to feature in this one whether he starts I don't know I think maybe we're safer off going with Malo Gusto but a midfield three then of Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo and Conor Gallagher I think those three are undroppable at the moment you know even if Lavia, Chukwameka, all these players were fit and ready to play. I don't think they get in at the moment because this trio is performing outstandingly and you can even see it in the ratings. Caicedo a little bit lower than the others but 7.4 ratings for the other two is fantastic. And then Mudrick on the left, Sterling on the right and Cole Palmer up front or you know Cole Palmer and Sterling switching. I'm really not bothered. I know they'll be able to sort it out between themselves um, on you know who's in what position at what time but I think Sterling's very strong off the right, so that's why I'd have put him there myself. And of course, that means, you know, no Nicholas Jackson, no Armando Broya. And I think I'm okay with that because in the previous game, we created quite a lot of opportunities. And I think these guys have performed well. Why not say, you know what, keep the form up, see what you can do in this game if things aren't looking great. And you can bring on a Nicholas Jackson uh, or, or a Broya, you know, both of them should be available. I'm not sure about Broya, he's still maybe a potential doubt according to this. Um, but Nicholas Jackson from that wrist surgery he had, he should be back into the fold here. But there's still a decent list of players that are out for us and Kunku obviously being the key one. I believe I've seen pictures of him out on the pitch recently. So he's definitely training on the pitch, he just needs to get, you know, the next stage which be getting involved with the team, a bit of ball work. And then hopefully maybe in December we can see a little bit of Nkunku. But looking at how both teams are looking for this season so far, you've got Chelsea of course sitting about mid-table, 10th position. Brentford struggling a bit this season. They're all the way down in 14th with 10 points. And if you look at the form, they've had a really big struggle recently on this right-hand side. You can see they beat Burnley, but they did end up with having a red card in that game, Burnley. Man United, they lost to. Forest, they drew to. Arsenal, they lost to. Everton, Newcastle, Drew with Bournemouth. You know, it's really been a bit of a struggle for them so far this season. Whereas on the left-hand side, you can see Chelsea's fixtures. We've had, you know, if we had our blips, don't get me wrong. But over the last few, you know, we beat Brighton, Fulham, Burnley, and then drew with Arsenal that is some good form to be going into this game on so it gives me a lot of confidence for this one i do think chelsea are, of course were at home against brentford a team we'd expect to be beating of course they're without their main man ivan tony a player that i wouldn't mind in a chelsea shirt at all if i'm being entirely honest um so it's a difficult game for them but you look they've been a bogey team of ours for a little while now i noticed this earlier and i was just like wow that is poor from chelsea 
over the past sort of year or two. A 4-1 loss, a 0-0 draw and a 2-0 win for Brentford in the last three times we've played them. So, you know, they're not a team that we would be expected to sort of roll over at this point because they have been performing against us when the opportunity has arisen. So, I do think, like I said, Chelsea should be expected to win this one. You know, we're higher in the Premier League table, coming in on better form. They've got their first win in a while, so they will have a little bit of confidence coming in from that. But overall, it's got to be a Chelsea win. So my prediction for this game, I was so close on the last one, by the way. I said Chelsea would be Arsenal 2-1, and of course it ended up being 2-2. So I was this close to being right on that one, and I wish I was in the end. But... For this game, Chelsea versus Brentford, I think a nice 2-0 would be comfortable. You know, this time not having a mistake from the goalkeeper to gift them a chance back into the game. You know, we got 2-0 up, I think, and hopefully a lot more composure. We can sort of hold out and get the win against Brentford. Um, and I think that'll set us, set us up really well for our upcoming fixtures. We've got a cup game against uh, Brentford. Uh, no, Burnley, sorry, Blackburn. Um, and then after that, it's, you know, some of the more difficult fixtures for Chelsea um, at that point. You're looking at teams like, oh my gosh, I've just seen them. It really does get rough. Tottenham, Man City, Newcastle, Brighton, Man United. That is the next five. So those are all teams that, you know, are above us in the Premier League table. And Tottenham in a great bit of form, as much as it pains me to say that. City, we know how brilliant they are. Newcastle. They're a brilliant team. Brighton, same again. Man United, of course, still a struggling team just as we are. Um, but a team that we tend to have bad decisions go against us and all the luck in the world seems to go in their favour. So it's a tough run. We need to get points on the board. So that 2-0 is my prediction. And if we get that, I'll be so, so over the moon. So that's my preview for this game. I'll try and get a review out after the game, but I'm away this weekend, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to. So maybe there won't be a video um, on the on the game day after we play them. We do play at 12 days, so it's an early kickoff. Make sure you're up and ready for it. Let me know what you guys think this game is going to be. Hopefully it's a big Chelsea win. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.